been a difficult few weeks to say the least for people living in the south after two major hurricanes left behind a lot of damage. What you're looking at here is some of the footage and the devastation uh, of the flooding in Tennessee. Yeah, many communities there need all the help they can get. And that's why one nurse at SSM Health in Janesville is doing something to make a difference. And here to tell us about that and to tell us about how we can all donate is Brooklyn Andres. Brooklyn, tell us about this effort. Yeah, you guys, this is really a chance that we as a community get to help directly impact the survivors, specifically of Hurricane Milton. I'm here at SSM Health in Janesville this morning, and I want to bring in Chaplain Randy Booth, and he's going to tell us about this drive that they're hosting. Supplies are headed down to Florida to help out on Saturday. So the supplies we're looking for are things that you would need in, in that kind of emergency, everything from cleaning to diapers to uh, cat food. Um, non-perishables, everything that people would need in those first two, three weeks after the hurricane. And we have some of those donations behind us this morning. So specifics, um, you kind of mentioned what you're looking for, um, but I know no, we're not accepting clothes at this time, right? We're not accepting clothes, okay. but we're accepting big things. If someone wants to donate a generator, we would take it. But it's more of the things that you need right in those first two weeks. Yeah, and this is um, really hoping to fill this huge RV camper. It's headed down there regardless, so why not fill it with supplies for these people that really need it? One of our nurses got connected with FEMA, and she rents her camper during during the summer. FEMA asked her if she'd be willing to rent it in Florida and she said yes. So she and her husband are taking it down this weekend. So we want to fill that camper as much as we can uh, with things and then FEMA will take the, in, uh, the things that we give and distribute it in, in the right way. Yeah, so you know it's going to the right hands. Chaplain, you said 35 years ago your parents were impacted by a hurricane. You went down there, saw this. Just how important is this for those, those people that have been impacted? They feel so isolated. My parents survived Hurricane Hugo in 1989 and you feel isolated. Um, it was the worst four hours of my mom's life when she was driving back into Charleston after evacuation because the TV news had shown the worst. That was not her house, but it was pretty terrifying. You feel isolated. You don't know whether the stores are going to open, when they're going to open, what damage you have. And so it's very terrifying, very isolating. Yeah, and definitely something that people right here in Wisconsin can make a huge impact. Thank you so much. We're going to be getting into some more details later today about where you can drop the supplies. And the date does end this Wednesday, the 16th. But for now, live in Janesville, Brooklyn Andres, WMTV 15 News.